Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar. I think that was okay. I learned this song yesterday so that I can teach it to you today. Um, so I hope that was decent enough. So um, I'm gonna be teaching you the entire chord progression um, and a lot of fun stuff in this lesson. Just a really fun tune to play. We got the bar chords going, so you have to feel comfortable with bar chords if you want to be able to play this one. It's a little bit tricky to play, um, but a lot of really beautiful parts like this. Little walk down, just really nice little musical ideas in there, and also this. The way he makes use of these open, um, you know, strings, but also going up with higher, you know, higher frets while the open strings ring. Just a lot of beautiful ideas in this tune. All right, before I ramble too much, let's get into the close-up. Before we do, download the free PDF version of my book. You're going to learn so much. It's going to teach you to master the fretboard, the musical alphabet, you know, millions of chords. Not millions, but thousands of chords. Um, and just a lot of great information here. So make sure to download that if you haven't yet, it's free. And also if you become a member, an all access member at Super Simple Guitar, I ship these things, that's right, I sign them and I ship them or I fly them on an airplane to your house for free as a welcome gift when you join. That's how much I love you. So all access members, if you want to become one, hundreds of members in there loving it. Most of them love it. They really do. Hardly anybody cancels. That's how I know they love it. And I get a lot of emails saying, I love it. So join the all access membership. Try it out. All right. I'm blabbering too much. Let's get into the close up now. Let me teach you this great tune. See you there. Bye bye. Alrighty, so welcome to the close-up. Let's get right into it. So first of all, let me show you the intro and the shapes that are in the intro, okay? So we're gonna keep it super simple now at the beginning, all right? So we're gonna start off with the E major. Then the second shape is, you could call it an F minor seven um, shape, but we're also gonna have the open first and second string in the mix, okay? So that's basically the third string second fret, the fourth string second fret, and the sixth string second fret, okay? And now at the beginning, we're gonna be just aiming for the sixth, fourth, and third string, okay? You could play all of the strings as well though, except for the fifth one. That one I'm muting out with my um, middle finger, okay? And then the last shape is like this. And that's just holding down the sixth string um, third fret and holding down the um, second fret third string. Okay, so. And I'm again hitting the sixth, fourth, and third string. You could, when you're strumming down, also hit these open strings, the second and first one. Okay, so. So really slowly. Those are the shapes and that's the most simple way you could play it, okay? What I like to do is kind of go more for the, when I'm playing with my fingers, I'll go for the third, fourth, and sixth string. So that's on the E, three, four, six. Then I'll do a little slap down, so. Then I'll go to the next shape. And then on this one, after I play that, you could do this little strum down, okay? And this has to come from you, okay? You have to just play around with filling in that gap, okay? And then you're gonna play it again and walk back. One more little thing that's happening here on the E major that you might have noticed is I'm starting off, I'm thinking E major, but I'm starting off without my first finger. So I'm strumming down, or I'm actually using my fingers to play the strings, the third, fourth, and sixth string, with this finger in the air, my first finger, okay? And right after I play the notes with my right hand, I'm doing a hammer on here, okay? So, okay, so,
Okay. And one other thing that I could point out, I was, I told you that you, you know, you're going to start off playing the sixth, fourth, and third string, but you could play all the notes as well. They're all going to sound good. It's just that if you only play three, it sounds a little bit tighter. If you play all of them, okay, it sounds a little bit more muddy, right? So again, this is a personal preference taste thing, okay? So experiment, see what sounds good to you, all right? So here too okay so you can get some ideas from me but do your own thing with it play with it all right be musical all right so now let's close off shut down the intro so it starts off one time so that's one circle second time around exactly the same but now Instead of going back and ending it on E like we do the first time, we're going to end it here on a B power chord, okay? So I'm holding down the 5th string, 2nd um, fret, and then I'm holding down the 3rd string, 4th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, okay? And then I'm doing this little circle thing here with my fingernail, I'm kind of using it like a pick. So let me play the whole intro now for you, super simple way. And then I encourage you to play around with these open notes and have fun with them, okay? So starting off on the E. And now we're gonna go bum, bum, and end it with the B. That's the intro, okay? So that happens, and then we go into the main um, verse where the, where the vocal comes in, all right? So the shapes that happen there are E major. You could always do that cool little hammer-on thing that always works. It always sounds cool. Then with my ring finger, I'm sliding here to the fourth fret, fifth string, and with my first finger, I'm on the third string, second fret. And I'm really kind of aiming for, um, you know, five strings. I'm not playing the sixth string. Okay. And you're going to want to make sure your guitar is in tune for this one, you know, because if not, you're going to really hear that it's out of tune. I hope that I'm in tune. I think it's okay. So anyways, E to this little new shape, right? And then the next new shape is going to go like this. So now I'm on the fifth fret, fifth string, and here I'm on the third string, fourth fret. Okay, so that's... And then it just goes back. So it's bam, 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 bam. Okay. And you're going to, it's going to be your responsibility to fill the gaps, right? So. Experiment with some cool little strumming thing to fill that. That void. If you want it to sound a little bit tighter, you could do the same thing as I did in the intro with my fingers. go for the fifth fourth and third string okay so when I'm when I'm hitting that first beat there I'm I'm hitting the fifth fourth and third string and then I'm strumming down so where I'm actually with this finger here, I'm 
kind of doing an upstroke. So, and I also have these little percussive things in there. Let me try to show you how I'm doing that. So, so it's. to do that it would be enough to just go those are just little things that I you know it's my personal taste that I just kind of add in there you know I think it sounds cool so experiment with that if you've never done it see if it feels right to you so basically this happens two times so Okay, so this was kind of the E section, we could call this. That happens twice. Then we're going to the A section. Okay, so that means that we're going to be going down here to A7, which is really cool. So I'm playing A7. Then I'm going over here to the fourth string, fourth fret. This finger is on the second string, third fret. And you're strumming, you could either strum five strings as if you were on A major or you could tighten it up a little bit and strum just four strings but I kind of like to play all five of them okay so A7 then this is again fourth string uh, fourth fret third string second fret and then you're doing that same shape as you did on the A7 just now we're on the fifth fret Sounds really cool, right? So, okay, and that happens only once. I'm playing it now repeatedly just so you can hear it. But in this song, it only happens once. One more time. Uh, this whole verse with the G sharp seven okay so after you play the A section one time you go back to the E section except now here Instead of going back to the E as we were doing previously, we're going to go over here to this G sharp 7, okay? You can learn about all of these chords in my picture chord book, and if you want to learn even more about these chords, inside of the All Access membership, I have an entire course that teaches all these shapes and how to move them and how it all fits together, okay? So if you're confused about this, definitely get the free picture chord book, and if you're already an Alexis member and you don't know about these chords, then watch the Master the Guitar Fretboard in Six Easy Steps, okay? Because that's all covered in there, okay? I don't want to go into too much details about, um, you know, the names. Um, I teach all of that inside the membership, okay? So, anyways, that's where we're ending it. So, that's going to then bring us into the chorus. Okay, so let me play the whole thing now for you up until this point, just so you can get a great feeling for it. And then we're going to go deep into the chorus, and then we're done. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I already finished the intro, and we're just going to play the verse. Okay, so... Here's 
that little build up. Okay, we've come very far, my friend. We've come very far. So now all that's left is the chorus. Okay, you're doing great. Just stick with me. <clears throat> so this is going to be bar chord heaven now. Um, so we're going to start off on an F sharp minor 7. Okay. Um, going into a G sharp 7. Going down into a D sharp minor 7. So it's... So it's... like that, right? Play with it, make it your own. So Okay, now we're going into this diminished shape. Um, so my first finger is on the 6th fret 5th string. My ring finger is on the 7th fret 4th string. My middle finger is on the 6th fret 3rd string. And my pinky is on the 2nd string 7th fret, okay? All right, I hope you can see that. So these two are on the sixth fret. These two are on the seventh fret. These two are on the fifth and the third string. These two are on the fourth and on the second string. And I'm really only going for, see how nice that is in context? I'm going for five, four, three, two, okay? So after that little build up, then it goes, Diminished thing. Back to diminished thing. A little walk down. Okay, so let me explain what's happening there. So, um, one more time. F minor 7 to the G sharp 7 to the D sharp minor 7. Diminished. E flat diminished or half diminished going back into the G sharp going back down to the D sharp minor okay then back to diminished back here back here but now we're doing a walk down okay so the whole thing after this if I could change sorry time this is just a nice walk down right so after I get to this D sharp minor just walking down and then after that I'm going to the A major baby if I could now comes this cool shape that I love so much but you're gonna have to practice it so I'm on the fourth um, fret sixth string second fret fourth string fourth fret third string and I'm really only going for these notes so six four three okay so Baby, baby, if I could, A, right? Okay, that's where that comes in. Then we go to this cool thing, which is a G. So now I'm holding down the sixth string, second fret, fourth string, third fret, third string. Okay, and we're going to just think of these as a walk down. Okay, this is just a nice walk down. Back to that F minor 7 shape that we already know. F sharp minor 7. Okay, back to this. And then it goes into the E again, right? Okay, so let me play the whole thing from here now. If I could... And here on this D minor 7, a cool thing that you could do would be to play it without the middle finger and then do a hammer on to the 2nd fret, 
Okay, that's a cool thing you could do if you want to. Don't have to do it, but it sounds cool. Walk down, baby, if I could. Then it does this cool thing. And now here, a cool thing you could do if you want, if you're playing it slowly, like at the end of the song, you could play the open strings. So. So basically, those are the pieces of the puzzle. That's the tune. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go listen to it, get these shapes, you know, under your fingers. And experiment with these different parts. The E part, the A part, the intro, the chorus, the verse, right? Experiment with that, get it under your fingers, and then listen to the song, play along with the song. And um, you have all the pieces here to make it sound really cool, okay? All right, I hope that this all made sense. Um, don't forget to download my book. Read the book because it's going to teach you about these chords if you don't know them yet. It's going to teach you what this is, how you can modify it, how you can change it, how you can move it, right? A G major, this shape, can also turn into an A major or a C major or a C major, you know, uh, or C7 or C minor 7 or whatever, right? You can you can modify them and my book teaches all of that. Okay, download it if you haven't yet. See you later. All right, I hope you liked this lesson. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Um, do your own thing with it, like I said. Don't forget to download that picture chord book, the PDF file, and also become a member. Try. It's only 14 a month, right? You spend that much on pizza and it's not even good for you. So, you know, get good at guitar and have me as your mentor. I'd love to do that. All right. See you in the next lesson very soon. Henry Olsen here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.